Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting through to episode 6 of Hokkaido Gals are super adorable, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Ugh. <sighs> Tests are just not the greatest. It, it's too stressful. But depending on the test, some some of them can be really good, you know. No, 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 no. no. just gonna be them alone together studying No, it, it, well, technically it's still a date still, so I'll still take it. <laughs> mm hmm They watch the movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cute. She's lucky that she has a little sofa in her room. I would kill to have a sofa in my room. Oh. 
I love the fact that she also has plushies on her bed because I do too. Naughty. <laughs> naughty, naughty. No. <laughs> right? <laughs> See, the, the couch looks like one of those inflatable ones. Cute little lipsy, oh my god. <laughs> oh Oh, Yuki, you got this, babe. <laughs> it is, though. Right? But that is a good information to know, babe. But that's because they like each other! Uh oh.
<laughs> Grandma, I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Her earrings are pretty. They look like either, yeah, pinwheels almost in a way. Her voice is adorable. Oh my God. <laughs> and let me guess, she's in the same class. Rana? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, maybe next time he can hang out. Maybe we should hang out on a day on a weekend, like a Friday or a Saturday. Yeah. We don't really want to cause any more tension between you and your grandma. Damn. Of course, because she wants to be around him.
Out of all the places to go to sleep. <laughs> Oh, dang, she got, like, hella close. Because she's good at her craft. which means Well, Grandma, we got into a little situation. Our neighbor. <laughs> Overstepping. She said she clumsily slipped. <laughs> if she clumsily. 
clumsily slipped, then I, I am the queen of Sheba, England. I am the prime, I can't even say, would I be the prime minister of Japan? Probably not. But still, you know that's a dang lie. She ain't slipped. Could be maybe she respects her. What? But, uh, I mean, but he's at that age where he's interested in girls and shit. But I don't think any of them have been, like, the biggest distraction to him. I mean, yeah, only the situation with, you know, Sayuri, Sayuri and freaking... Yuki and the study party, like that would be the only thing. Other than that, like Yeah. Re I mean, Rena, he's just met her and I don't think he's distracted by her e either. They just fucking met. Oh my god, this is getting too complicated. And if he doesn't score top ten, he has to go back to Tokyo. It's too much. Oh my god. <laughs> it's too much and it's only Monday. Cheers everybody. Clink clink to Monday. But I'm ready for that Wednesday. Um, but Jesus Christ. No, I don't want him to leave. I mean, he's just now making friends with people and such. I mean, it's multi balance, multitasking. Grandma be a meanie. And I hate to say that, but he Really, she is. I mean, why can't, like, his parents or anything have any say? Because, you know, Grandma is the guardian. I don't know how I feel. I'm a, I'm a little torn. And I, damn. <laughs> Jesus, that left a mark on my arm. I gotta wait a whole week. A whole ass week. To find out what's gonna happen next. You know how long that is? That is a long time. I, I can't wait. I need to know now. Like right now. I need answers. Right now. Not tomorrow. Not three days from now. Not a month from now. Today. Right here. Right now. At 719 at night. I need those answers. Like hopefully he passes. That's really. Because I want him to, you know, gain more like. <sighs> Excuse me. Um, the bonds and friendships with the with these characters and such. It it would just feel so weird if he just you know leaves. And we know he's not going to leave and such. Maybe due to some persuasion, you know, let's say Fuyuki goes to see Grandma and you know talks and stuff, and maybe gets her foot put down and such, and then you know be like, okay, yeah, you can stay and such. I don't really know how it's gonna go right next week, but I am truly, truly scared for him to see how this is going to go. Uh, Rena, she's adorable. Um, she gives me feels to the typical, typical characters who are obsessed with um certain cultures and such and, and everything. So. That could be like um, Emily from Idolmaster, the one girl from Hitori Bochi, 
maybe the one girl who was in Zombie 100, even though I haven't seen that. Um, but any type of girl who is into the different culture besides, like, their own, you know, almost like me and stuff, where I am, like, all, like, 100% gung-ho and, you know, Japanese culture and it's like that and wanting to learn more about the situations of it and everything and just the livelihood and such. Um, or just any other anime character in general who is just obsessive and wants to know, like, every little thing. But she's, it's cute! I love it! I hope you get to learn more about her because I feel like we've only now learned, like, just the flat surface of her. And I feel like there is more to her, but we just won't see it until, like, the next up and coming weeks. And until, like, maybe the four of them hang out. But, you know, we gotta wait and see. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards episode six of Hokkaido Gals are super adorable. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Matcha Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next, I'm about to say Saturday, Monday for episode 7. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.